what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so this morning i was on google map i was looking around for new waters and i found a specific waterway that looked extremely good it's like a little creek in the middle of the phoenix metropolitan area we're gonna go down there we're gonna see if there's any sort of fish down there to be caught stay tuned enjoy it, and let's go get them all right y'all so this morning i was on google maps trying to find a nice little new fishery that i've never been to before found this little sucker it looked juice from the overview vantage point and uh, we came on down here, man, look at this. This looks pretty freaking good. Look, you got water flow, you got good overhangs, you got trees, you got shade, you got all this good structure, concrete pillars in the water. There's gotta be a few fish in here. We're gonna be slapping on the Fat Pack Bait's little drunken shad. I know the shade's probably screwing up the actual coloration of this thing, but this thing is juicy. It looks like a little bass to me. This thing doesn't have a whole lot of movement, but it is meant for just the profile, small profile to catch numbers. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, we got him, we got him, first one. <laughs> oh man, all right, y'all. First little bass in the micro creek. Holy crap, that is so sick. I'm gonna let this guy go up here so we don't spook the rest down there because there were a bunch of them. Thanks for the bite, buddy. That was sick. There were like seven of them up in there. So let's see if we can dial in another. Ooh, that's a nice little one right there. Oh, he swiped. Oh, he had it. Yo, that was a little bit better one. That was at least, you know, three quarter of a pounder right there. And the great thing is the current is flowing pretty hefty right now. So I don't have to do any movement to this bait. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're just crushing this, y'all just crushing it unfortunately they're so little they're very hard to keep pinned but like i was saying the current is just taking this little two and a half inch drunken shad down the creek and we're getting bit every freaking time i mean this is incredible i gotta get my crap together and get these fish pinned y'all my goodness that is so sick oh oh here he comes he ate it right there <laughs> that's so sick yes that is what I'm talking about. A little bit better, not too shabby. Little guy right there. That's a nice little, little largey right there. You know, for a little micro urban creek that we're fishing today, that ain't too bad. Check this little bugger out. Stout, stout, stout little fish. That is freaking gnarly right there. Beautiful fish. We got a lot of glare today, so sorry if you can't see like the full coloration of these buggers, but they are beautiful little bass. 2.5 inch little drunken shad. Oh, gotta follow her. Gotta follow. <laughs> that was sick. Y'all, they're just crushing it. They're absolutely crushing it. A little bit better. They're getting better. Gotta get them up. It's every cast. Every cast are eating this thing. So if you guys are fishermen that like to come out and just catch fish, you don't need to catch bigs, order a pack of these. Little Drunken Shad from Fat Pack Baits. They'll be linked below. Use my promo code SWFishing101. That'll save you 20% off your final order. And come out and catch a bunch of little bass like this. This little bass is a girthy little bugger. Kind of pale, but you know. He did us some work right there. Very durable bait as well. I mean, we've gotten bit every single cast on this thing. And it's still hanging on. It's still doing its job. That is so sick, y'all. And they're getting incrementally better bigger size all right y'all so this little place is freaking gnarly i'll tell you what we've gotten bit nearly every single cast there's been about 10 casts where we have legitimately not gotten bit there's a lot of little fish in here and i'll tell you what when you are intending on just catching smaller fish trying to find new water stuff like that just take anything you can get come out have fun enjoy your day because that's ultimately all fishing is about we're gonna be uh walking up a little bit further see if we can find any more of these largies munching and uh, I'll tell you what, this little urban creek is gnarly. It's a beautiful little urban creek. You got the water flow right behind us, which might hold some largies. You got a bunch of shade, overhangs, a bunch of structure for these bass to be able to hide out in. So without further ado, let's get out there and let's go whack a few more. We'll loosen the drag just a little bit. Give it a little bit more give. I honestly should have brought an ultralight out here, but I didn't even think about it. Oh, there's a little guy. There's a micro dude, barely hanging on. He's tussling though. <laughs> that is sick. Not a shabby little bass right there, y'all. 
they're getting bigger check that little bugger out not a bad one biggest one of the day he didn't fight very good at first but then you know he started pulling a little drag put up a little good fight right there absolutely gnarly boom that's what i'm talking about i mean this is what fishing's about i mean i totally understand the aspect of wanting to catch big fish and uh you know breaking your pb stuff like that it's very very fun it's exciting the thrill but i mean this is fishing right here like just enjoying the fish that you're able to catch going very simplistic ultra light and just coming out and having a good time that's all you can ask for he came out of that overhang it's another reason why i wanted to stop here is because you can see all the brush on the other side of the bank the bass are going to be hanging out underneath that brush because it's keeping the water a little bit cooler and on top of that it's protecting them from any sun that is coming through the trees that is so sick tell you what though i mean these fish are pinning themselves very awkwardly but they're all a little bit better all stout little fish gotta love it very very enjoyable man that's sick thanks for the bite buddy boom Well, drunken shad strikes again. Hookup ratio is a lot better with the BKK drop shot hook rather than the uh, wacky rig hook for sure. Glad I made that change up. I'll tell you what, there's gotta be a little three pounder in here somewhere just because of how much bait there is in here. You would think there'd be a nice little largey. Ooh, Ooh. oh my goodness. Smallest one of the day, but I'll tell y'all what. He smacked that nearly top water. I was for sure thinking he was going to be hanging on. There he is. <laughs> Y'all, look, he's digging. All right, all right, a little better. Biggest one of the day. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, look at that little stout dude. Smacking it. That is so sick. All right, y'all, right there. Let's get this guy right back in. Thanks for the bite, dude, man. When he first hit, I thought he was a pipsqueak. Turns out he ended up being a little bearable bass, you know? Not too shabby, definitely the biggest one of the day. They're just stacked up in here. They're ready to go. All right, y'all, this is absolutely freaking gnarly. One of the coolest, most simplistic trips that I've done in quite some time. You know, it was kind of hard finding this spot on Google Maps, but very easy to get to. And I'm telling you what, man, what do we got? Like 10 fish and they're all incrementally getting bigger. And that little drunken shad is just absolutely smacking them. And we're not even halfway through this little system. So very, very cool little spot. Gotta be very simplistic. BFS, six pound test, ultralight gear. Next time, if I come out here again, I am bringing out a five foot six ultralight rod. Because with that kind of setup, I'm going to have an absolute freaking ball on it. There's a little bass chasing right there. We're going to go get them. Let's go get them. The Sakuma Samar A reel is freaking phenomenal because of how this six pound test comes flying off the spool super smoothly. I didn't expect it to allow me to whip a bait this light that far. Because some reels that you get, they kind of like backlash a little bit, even the, even the spinning reels. But this one is smacking it. It's allowing us to get on some decent little largies, yo. These fish are just munching. Just munching. Fatties. Absolute fatties. It's crazy. Really interesting right there. It looks like his scales are like off-centered. It's kind of sick. It looks pretty cool. Man, how sick is this? Thanks for the little bite, buddy. Get in there, get big. Give us a little dance on the way out. Those little tilapia, they keep biting it too. All right, last cast, y'all, and then we're going down. We're going down to find a little bit bigger fish. Right after I redo that cast, because that was an awful cast. I bet a little pond buzz bait in here would be freaking gnarly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that was so sick. Right up in that overhang. Biggest one of the day. That's a decent little bass right there. That's a <laughs> oh my boom y'all he smacked that so freaking hard barely pinned check that out check this fish out y'all i think i might be able to zoom in on that top water because i was just talking about the pond size buzz bait and this guy this stout 
stout little bass right here. And look at the girth on them for such a small bass. That is freaking gnarly. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Get in there. I was just talking about the pond size buzz bait. How this thing would be gnarly to fish in here right at sundown. And then that dude comes darting out of that overhang and blows up on this top water. And this is why you have to find spots like this. Because, you know, the typical urban ponds, the traditional canals, they hold fish, they hold great fish, but they're so highly pressured. They, you know, sometimes you'll have a hard time catching fish. I mean, I struggle all the time in the urban scene. But that's why you got to find oddball areas like this. Things that most people aren't going to think about fishing. And then when you come to these areas, you're like, man, where has this been my whole life? You just got to go out and find different spots. And then over time, you end up building your little micro portfolio and doing really good. You have a bunch of different spots to fish to catch a bunch of little bass. That last bass was sick, though. Hands down, the best bite of the day. But as you can tell, we're on the sunny side. So when you see that shaded side over there, just know that there's gonna be a few bass cruising up and down that shaded side. They're gonna stay over there where the water's a little bit cooler because this side has been heated up by the sun pretty much all day since, since the morning. So the fish will transition over there. They'll hide underneath all those overhangs, all the trees and whatnot, and you'll end up getting a bunch of bites. There's one, ooh! freaking pulling and y'all as you can tell look at all these tilapia dispersing everywhere the cool thing is is when you're reeling it in you see all that bait disperse that that's everything that these little micro bass are chewing which is why they're so feisty and they're so freaking fat and they have so much power behind how small they are i mean look there he goes there he goes he's probably going to chase some other bait because he's going all chaotic There's one. Man, it's so freaking sick, y'all. One of the bigger ones, not too bad. Ain't bad at all. They're all about the same size, you know. There ain't no Mondos, but there's some decent fish up in here. Especially for like just fun fishing. Not too shabby. Check that out right there. Thanks for the bite, buddy. Now, because this is so steep, you gotta be careful trying to get them in. That was a perfect dive right there. 10 out of 10. There's one. Woohoo! Thin wire BKK hooks come right out. They're not even thin wire, they're just so slick. Ooh! Man, they come out so feisty, just so aggressive, y'all. And this is just a little guy. And we pin him in the head. We got him in the head. That dude just freaking started yanking like crazy though. My goodness. They just take off with this. They love this little bait. And this coloration is perfect. I mean, it looks like a little baby bass to be honest. All right, people. So we had a lot of freaking fun today. We were fishing for about an hour and a half. Got like 26 fish. Started off with dinks. Dink freaking city but they incrementally got bigger and bigger and bigger the longer we fished the more we fish we did really well like i said we got 26 fish probably missed an additional like 20 to 30 fish could have ended up with 50 it was phenomenal fishing that top water blow up that that one bass did on the little drunken chat by fatback baits was absolutely freaking incredible i was talking about the pond buzz bay and then whoop bam he just smacked the living heck out of it so that was probably the coolest bite of the day Hopefully I got that on the GoPro to show you guys that blow up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I greatly appreciate you guys for watching the channel. It means a lot to me. Been doing this now for three and a half years and the growth has been phenomenal and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you very much and we'll see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.